Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and in this video, we're going to continue to use Google Plus for business. In the last video, what I did was I created a Google Plus account, and it shows up here. I've got a brand new account. There I am. And uh, there's a lot we can do, but again, we want to use Google Plus for uh, business purposes, not personal. Um, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up Google Plus for business. There's plenty that we can look at to get acclimated with what Google Plus is, but right away what I want to do is create this profile, business profile. So I'm just going to close this. One of the important things to look at is that with uh, Google Plus, we've got uh, this menu at the top left. It might change depending on what screen you're at, but it's at the top left. Mine currently says Home. If I roll over it, then I get the drop-down menu with the different sections, which we'll go into detail. But we want to look at the one um, that is um, Pages. So you'll see an item called pages. This is where you can manage more than one business page and you're able to do that. But you need a personal page to create as many business pages as you want. And that's how I do it for my clients. I run their social media. I run their Google Plus, for example. I have my personal account that I use for fun, my personal Google Plus, and then I've created business pages for them, and I've set them as managers, which we'll see how to do. But at the moment, let's create a business page. So hover over the Home button and select Pages. We've got Get on Google for free. Google Plus pages connect you with customers, whether you're looking for, whether they're looking for you on Search, Maps, Google Plus, or mobile. Learn more, and you can watch that video. But okay, what I want to do is select Get Your Page. It's found right there, Get Your Page. Then we need to select what type of Google Plus page. Choose your business type. So we've got Storefront, which is for restaurants, retail, store, hotel, etc. Service area for plumbers, pizza delivery, taxi services, or brand, product, sports team, music brand, music band, cause, etc. And these can be changed. I'm going to say this will be a storefront in my case. And if you are a storefront, a real business, and then it asks you, well, what's the address to your business? So you'll want to fill in the address to your business, follow the steps, and you'll be on your way. Uh, if you don't have one of those to set up at the moment, I'm going to go back and select a brand. So you can uh, select what you want, but just perhaps to learn these concepts, select brand. And once you know what you're doing, you can go back and select storefront. You can create more than one account, as I've said. So select brand. What's the page name? I've got a fictional business. Um, Victor's Bakery. And I'm going to uh, give it my website address, if I have one. What type of page is this? Let's see, my options are product or brand, entertainment, community, other. It's a brand. It's a company. Agree to the terms. Create the page. Welcome to Google uh, My Business. We've brought together the best of Google all in one place, etc. Um, you might want to turn off, yes, please keep me informed of future page releases. You're going to get emails when things change. You may or may not want that. It's up to you. You can do the tour, but we'll do my tour. So uh, I'm going to select uh, skip the tour. And that takes us to this new screen here. 
and there's uh, several things to, to pay attention to. At the top it says, you are now using Google Plus as the Victor's Bakery page. So how do I know this? Notice at the top right, this has the name of my company here, not my personal name. So I, need, I can switch back and forth between the two. At the top right, I've got an icon, this little gift. If you click on that, it shows me this is Victor's Bakery. It's a Google Plus page. It's my business. And below it, I've got my personal uh, profile, Victor Campos. So it's very important to know the difference. Am I editing? Am I sharing stuff on my personal page or my business page? Always take a look at the top right to see, well, OK, there's my personal or there's my business. Notice when I select that and I switch back and forth, it actually opens up a new tab, which you may or may not want. I don't want that actually. I've got uh, these two tabs that I'll close. Just be aware that when you switch up here, it's going to create a new tab. Another way to do this is, let me go back to my personal account. Another way to do this is remember back on the menu, we've got Home and Pages. And here it will list my pages. Welcome to Google Plus Pages. This is an overview of your pages activities. Um, it shows me how many pages I've got. I've currently got one. And I can switch back and forth between them up on the top. But if you select to manage this page from this screen, it just keeps it in one tab, which I prefer. That way you don't have multiple tabs. What am I editing? What am I doing? So if you switch back and forth between the menu here, uh, you'll be able to stay on one tab and it'll make a little more sense. So in this video, we created a Google Plus page. And in the following video, we're going to uh, get acclimated to what we have. We're going to explore the different screens and then eventually start posting content. So come back for that.